Why did we see a dump in Bitcoin? Why are we seeing Bitcoin go down here? This is what we are going to talk about. But more importantly, I need to show you this chart. So if you're holding any Bitcoin, this is a chart you will want to to watch because this is showing us something interesting about Bitcoin for the immediate short term. Also, we are talking about traditional markets and what's going on there. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And let's jump straight to the chart here on the four hourly time frame. And a lot of people were asking me, why are we going down right now? Well, if you've been watching my previous videos, if you have been watching any other the videos I've been talking about recently, uh, you know that I showed you, uh, if you look at the thumbnail here, uh, I told you, don't get wrecked. There's one very important thing to pay attention to right now, and that is the orange box all the way up here in the thumbnail. And the orange box is, of course, this one. And the reason why we were not able to see a big pump here in Bitcoin after trying to break this orange box here is because this orange box was just too much resistance at this very point. Now, the Bitcoin bulls did make a good try because they took the opportunity of the low liquidity during the holiday season, like Christmas. And uh, yeah, they tried to make a big push here for Bitcoin, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. We got a rejection. And this is why you always need to, uh, well, you don't always need to. It's not financial advice. But uh, the advice I am at least giving to myself is this. When you're approaching the orange box, you always want to wait. If you're going to make a short-term trade, you want to wait until we are above the orange box before making that trade. Because as you can see here, we just had a small fake out and then straight down into the orange box again. And then we start to go down. So these levels are very important to pay attention to. If you are trading short term, if you're trading long term, you're holding for multiple years. Well, of course, uh, any opportunity to get into Bitcoin is most likely going to be a good opportunity to get into Bitcoin long term. So with that said, here on the support and resistance levels, the next level of support is going to be 48,200. And I do believe that we are going to make a new try for Bitcoin here on the shorter time frames as well, because on the shorter time frames, there's still a couple of uh, important short term support levels that are still holding because you can see that this level we have been talking about a lot we went into uh, this uh, descending channel here that is where we found support here on bitcoin as well on the daily time frame so we still have this supporting us and if things get really really bad you already know these levels these are the levels i've been talking about a lot recently and uh, this support level is right now at 45,700. In other words, we can technically go down to 45,700 and still be intact with the bullish structure on the longer time frames. Same thing with this one. So here we have this one sloping down. We can technically, again here, go down to 45,300 and still remain bullish on the longer time frames. But on the shorter time frames, you know, we need to break through the orange box here eventually. And I do believe we are going to do that because if you see uh, the traditional markets right now, let me see here, this is the traditional markets. Yesterday, they rallied to an all time high and the traditional markets rallying into an all time high while Bitcoin is going sideways and down can happen. Uh, but every time that has happened, it has always led into a massive rally for Bitcoin eventually. Let me show you this chart. So this is the Bitcoin price. The blue line is the traditional markets. And if I zoom out here, you can see that they are kind of mirroring themselves uh, pretty nicely here. So this just goes to show the correlation between the traditional markets and Bitcoin. But uh, what you can see here is that Bitcoin really had a massive, massive uh, rally here during uh, 2021, of course. Well, basically the end of 2020 and 2021 went up here to uh, $69,000, of course. Or in this case, this was actually $64,000, the first all-time high we're making down in April and March. But then we started to go down, start to go down. But the traditional markets, the blue line, you can see that they continued as Bitcoin was going down. Traditional markets continued here. And then we had, uh, you know, we ended up um, with similar price action here. Traditional markets went down a little bit. Bitcoin went down. Uh, but then we caught up. Then we caught up. Bitcoin went up from, well, uh, down here at uh, 420, call it $30,000, up to $69,000. So we started to really, really outperform here as well. And now if I zoom in here, you can see that recently Bitcoin has been going down while the traditional markets have continued to go up. 
And this, again, usually leads into Bitcoin catching up eventually and a massive bull run because all of this money in the stock market, guys, most of it, I believe, is going to find itself into the crypto market eventually. So altcoins, Bitcoin, I still believe that we are due for a um, rally here at some point. But yeah, I don't have a crystal ball, guys, of course. All I can do is look at these datas and uh, yeah, see what's been happening previously in history. And in this case, everything is looking good. Traditional markets at an all-time high. Bitcoin is going down a little bit right now, but I do believe it's just a matter of time before we have a massive pump here. But the first things first, we need to break above the orange box here at 51,150. Pay attention to this because a lot of people got wrecked not paying attention to this level, guys. And I am always going to try to bring you these uh, before they actually happen. And um, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.